and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle today with two amazing looking puzzles absolutely unique and flawless the Hexahawk and the Hexa puzzle both made and designed by Redemic Puzzles in Czech Republic and I show you both puzzles in today's episode because they are very much related to each other so the Hexa puzzle is basically the little brother of the Hexa Hog puzzle on the Hexa puzzle you need to free this little brass I don't know square let's call it a square inside here from the cage no sh not sure how this should be realized top and bottom are connected and there's no way out on the hexa hog puzzle it's a bit more complicated the hexa puzzle is actually included in the hexa hog and you need to disassemble and therefore i left all the safety features here on the puzzle you need to disassemble it and it seems to be pretty easy but i can imagine that the assembly of this puzzle is much harder so here it's a two-step puzzle disassembly then get this little square out of the hexa in the center and then afterwards reassemble it again. The Hexa, according to the Radamic difficulty rating, is a level four out of a maximum of five, while the Hexa Hawk is a level five out of a maximum of five. Let's see if I agree to this later after I reviewed it. But before I start solving this puzzle, I would like to give a huge thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. And I'm really happy they considered me for sponsoring because Raid Shadow Legends is really changing the game by being the first game to bring a true console level experience to your device. Skills you require to fight in dungeons, battles and PvP arena matches to raid your way through the game. Use my links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. And I've personally been playing Raid for a while now and these are some of my champions I've been using. Astralon, and this guy does not only look like, I don't know, like he's a total beast. His default skills are to attack enemies two times, ignore enemies' protection debuffs and remove all debuffs from enemies under wheel and perfect wheel buff. And another favorite of mine is Roxam, who does not only look like a crazy jungle stalker, but actually is. Roxam is the perfect assassin. His skills are all tied with wheel and perfect wheel buffs, making it very hard for enemies to target him during the battle. The world of Raid is frequently enhanced. This month they released an insane amount of new content. 11 amazing new champions, 200 brand new missions to complete with an exclusive legendary champion as a reward and also adding 5 new levels to almost every single dungeon in the game. So what are you waiting for? Use my links below so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. Good luck and I'll see you there. And before I start now with these puzzles, I think we need to worship the manufacturing because this puzzle or how it's manufactured is actually quite unique. Most of the Redemic puzzles are manufactured like this using a laser cutter or specifically laser cut tubes and they make it possible to manufacture structures like this like a three-dimensional puzzles with very very small connectors here these are just beautiful super cool collectors items but also from visual point of view very very interesting and after the spoiler break you're gonna see my first attempt trying to solve this amazing looking hexahawk puzzle Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna take it apart now. And what's also pretty interesting is that actually the Hexahawk, this one here, was released before this one. So initially there was only a Hexahawk released and after some time this one was sold separately as an alternative. But let's see how this turns out. I will now remove this tape. I'm not sure what happens if I do so. Up to now nothing. Now let's remove the... Oh man, this comes off so smooth. At least I saw it in the, fir <laughs> in the first moment. <laughs> oh, let's, let's try this side. Oh yes, here we go. Looks, it looks a bit like a snowflake here. And this is really super high quality. Then we got these side pieces. Or let, let's take out the hexahawk first. And you can see here on this piece it's exactly the same with the other one. And by the way, the task is, I think I didn't mention this in details, to split the big cage. This is in progress right now. Get into the smaller hexa cage, remove the hexagon shape or the hexagon shaped hex, insert hex back into the hexa cage and then reassemble. Let's see what's, what's the most tricky part. I would assume that this is simply is probably easy. Let's take this out. Yes, now the parts come apart. It's like a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle or something like that. Ooh. And... Okay, okay. So they need to be perfectly aligned to come apart. So this is the bottom side. And now, of course, 
We won't do it the easy way. We give it a good scramble it up. And now let's put those aside. Like put all of them over here. But I, I just need to arrange it. I mean, look at this. This looks just insane, doesn't it? <laughs> Man, the dream of every, every puzzle enthusiast. I mean, this is just amazing manufacturing. Look at this. Wow. Insane. The hexer. Let's remove the hex from this thing here. First is, it's probably not possible to just take it out everywhere. And I need to flip in a certain orientation to do so. I think it needs to be flipped like so. And then probably put through here. Which is, surprise, surprise, not possible as you can see, it's too big. The, the problem is now for me, figure out where I can fit it to do this. And I, I will just check it right now. If just visually, if I can see or conclude where this needs to be taken out, just to be sure, it cannot be taken out to here. I think, or I would assume this. Would, I mean, this would be insane. It would definitely not work. It's much too small, as you can see. Okay, let me just check if I can see visually which hex it should be, or if it's if I just really need to try all the all the holes. So I'm focusing right now on the thickness of the fr of the frame. I can find a piece which appears to be surrounded by thinner frames because um, I noticed that some are thin, some are thicker. For example, this one has thick pieces all around, while over here you can see the those are definitely thinner, same as here. Maybe this one. You see this one? looks a bit thinner around here yeah I got it <laughs> right with the first try and let me just confirm how big the difference is and who should we ask to provide us this information yes you are right Mr. Caliper is here in today's episode. How are you doing, man? So, <laughs> let's see. Uh, which one was it? Uh, it was this one. So, usually, the bigger parts here are having a width of around 3.2 millimeters, while the thinner ones have a thickness of like 2.8 millimeters. And that's it. So, this is how you solve the hexa. Would be a pretty easy puzzle if I would have bought this one. And now let's see if the hog will challenge me more <laughs> to solve. Um, oh man, this is so, this puzzle, this puzzle is so beautiful to handle. It's so enjoyable to just look at it. Looks from first point of view pretty much the same, but it's not. You can see it here. There's definitely a difference. Just taking random pieces. So up to here, it's very easy. Maybe I should do it different. This will not work. I think I should maybe focus to build it like so. You know, like up and down, up and down, like a zigzag. Like, for example, this one. I think these, these belong together here. I'm gonna try to figure now a piece or to find a piece. Could go in here like this one, for example. Let's take it out. Let's try another one. This is very, this puzzle is very fiddly. Here we go. <laughs> well, I like, I like such puzzles, so no problem for me though. So these two belong together, very likely. Um, let's see how it goes with a short upper one, well, this one maybe, no, too long, maybe this one, yes, this, this could work, maybe this works. Yeah, I think that's it. 
no idea how I did it, <laughs> but I think I found the correct solution. Now careful, please carefully, not to just make everything come apart again. <sighs> and I'm also starting to cry if this comes apart now again. Okay. Mm, careful, carefully. No. No. Don't do this to me. Isn't is isn't this frustrating to watch? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> wow. I need to really take care not to mess it up now again. Let's start from zero. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I was already at the last piece. Where's the last? Oh, there fell one in the inside. Where? Oh. Where did this belong? Here? Not sure. And... Here we go! Now I need to only assemble uh, the lid again. Oh, come on! No, 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 you see this? How I'm struggling here. The handling is insanely difficult. Oh, no. Woo! <laughs> Got it. Where's the rubber band? <laughs> first, before I continue, first, let's secure the thing like this. Okay, here we go. You can see it's assembled again. Man, this was tricky. The, the assembly, I think the, the puzzle itself was not that hard. The disassembly, I mean, this was like a level one, very easy, falls apart by itself. But um, this one was, um, I think I had the right approach. It can be trickier and I think my eye is also trained a bit to find these small differences in the design. So this is um, maybe if, you, if I would have to rate this one, I think I would rate it with a level two, but maybe to some others, it's like a level three. This one here, the assembly was from my point of view a level three. Uh, it took me quite some time, but it was not really difficult to understand how it's done. So I was able to do solve it while I, by just doing trial and error. One thing that was definitely helping was that I combined them in this zigzag um, shape. And by the way, I forgot to put in back in the hexa piece. Yeah, that's how you solve the Hexog puzzle, a pretty cool puzzle, superb quality and design, if you ask me. This is exactly the type of puzzle I like. Let me know if you see it the same way, master puzzle for you, being difficult to solve, or do you also care about the manufacturing of a puzzle, the quality of the puzzle? Does this count for you or does this matter for you? Let me know in the comments. And of course, you can put everything else you would like to add in the comments as well. That's it for today and until next time, keep on puzzling.